Hi everyone and welcome back to the Botanical Witch. Today I wanted to start my series on herbs from my apothecary. And what this is going to entail is each week I am going to choose one herb from my apothecary and I'm going to just sit down and talk to you about the properties of that plant. Medicinal, magic, what I use them for, in medicine and what I use them for in magic. So today I thought I would start with um, a very well-known herb. Most people know what this herb is and have heard about some of the properties that it contains and that is chamomile. And chamomile is such a beautiful plant. Such a beautiful plant. And it has a lot more actions um, than just being a soothing nervine. So this is from the Asteraceae family. And the parts that we use medicinally are the flowers. These beautiful sunny flowers. So chamomile um, has a very strong affinity for on the liver and the kidneys and it can help support those organs and stimulate those organs. It's also considered a gentle carminative which helps to expel gas and bloating and painful irritation and digestive upsets. This is a very soothing herb. Um, to use for that. It's also considered a gentle nervine, which can help you relax, relax the nervous system, and this is one of the herbs that can help with anxiety, depression, and helps you to get your body prepared for falling asleep. This herb is, in general, um, it's safe to use for any age, including children. And this is one of my go-to herbs for um, a stressed out child. I know that when my son comes home um, from a stressful day at school, sometimes I make him a nice chamomile tea for him to sip on. Um, and it just helps soothe his mind helps him to unwind and it helps him to be present in the moment. Um, it also helps him with any digestive upsets. So it's very good, like I said, in a tea to give a child for a belly ache or stress or trying to um, get them to go to sleep or if they're just really fussy this is a very good herb to incorporate one of the ways that I like using this with small children in particular babies in particular um, if they're fussy or if they just have some um, inflamed skin conditions is you know draw a warm bath for them and you can infuse chamomile like you would a tea, make it a very strong tea, and you can pour that into the bath with them. And it's really good for um, soothing inflammatory skin conditions. It's very soothing. And it can also help relax their mind and help them get to sleep a little bit better. So that's just a little tip, if you have a fussy baby, um, try doing that and see if it helps. So some of the ways that I like to use chamomile medicinally and magically, um, first magically, is abundance spell jars. And as you can see, I have chamomile here on the very bottom. And this spell jar was created to bring abundance to my life. Another way that I really enjoy using chamomile is in my herbal steams. 
and this one is um, it has a ton of herbs in it uh, but it does have chamomile in it as well because using chamomile in a steam is very good for your skin it's antimicrobial it just it's very refreshing and it helps with my allergies um, and my congestion the other way that I like using it is as an herbal oil this herbal oil will go into a salve that I'm making for burns and cuts and scrapes and stuff like that because chamomile is very good like I said for um, skin conditions so I may use this also in a lotion and one of my very favorite ways is to use this in an infused honey um, this also has other herbs in it as well but it does have chamomile in it and as you can see it's a little it's kind of cold here today in Colorado so my honey um, is kind of solid I normally stick it in a windowsill so it's been solid for a few days but I typically warm this up and let it infuse a little bit longer but as you can see there is chamomile in it and that will just be used in teas just to help you know calm and like this says peace and calm and then I also like to make um, spell oils and this one has chamomile in it and it is for money it's a money spell oil and what I do is uh, dress my candles um, use this in my money spells that sort of thing and then of course the other way that I like using chamomile and it's not necessarily here is I like to make a chamomile tea with honey or with lemon um, another good choice to add with chamomile is ginger and I just like to sip on that either throughout the day or right before bed and just it helps me to relax and unwind and become present in the moment so chamomile like I said it can help with digestive issues it can help stimulate and support your kidneys and your liver it can help um, inflammatory skin conditions when applied topically it's great for children and it's great to help relax and soothe your nervous system so all around this is a really really great herb to have in your apothecary and it's actually one of the herbs that I recommend any beginner herbalist or any beginner witch have in their cupboard now magically speaking this um, plant is used to attract money and I like to use it in my money spell jars in my money sachets any type of money spell chamomile is always in that spell um, I also use it for any spells that I'm doing to promote uh, peace and stillness and anti-anxiety this is always part of that spell so um, a little history for you chamomile is actually documented as being one of the most popular teas that are sold in the US and Europe you can actually find chamomile tea absolutely anywhere Walgreens Walmart Safeway whatever it is you have in your state um, you go down the tea aisle and chamomile tea is there so records indicate its use date has art has gone back to the ancient Romans the Greeks and Egyptians and they believe the flowers contained both magical and healing properties so this plant has been used for decades and decades and decades um, for its healing properties and chamomile has been used in pagan rituals and spells to enhance positive energy and emotional and spiritual balance I have to agree with that let's do a little close-up 
So that is just a little bit about this beautiful plant, chamomile. And if you have any questions about this plant, um, about any of the uses, I didn't go through a lengthy um, informative video because I wanted this video to be um, shorter and I wanted to just touch on the points, the important aspects of this plant and what it is commonly used for. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'm excited to um, start doing these herbal apothecary videos every week for you. And if there's a specific plant that you're wanting to know more about, let me know and I will put that on my list for you. So until next time, I hope you guys have a magical day.